Okay, so we now know those web dating websites, all right? And we all know that the how how they make money and、uh, by creating some critical moments. All right, that's fine. But even if I pay, it's still difficult, because whenever we want to get someone to become friends, we may get rejected. Why is that? Because of information asymmetry, right? They don't know me, and they don't know whether I'm a handsome, um, not so not too old professor teaching at National Taiwan University, and they don't know whether I may earn three million NT dollars per year. Blah blah blah. If they don't know that, then there's no way for them to trust me. So now information asymmetry plays a role. But before that, maybe we should first ask: Do people really lie on online dating websites? Right? Maybe everybody is、uh, so honest. So let's take a look. So there was a study talking about a、uh, data from online dating websites. So on a specific online dating website, the information is the following: four percent they have their annual salary above two and one and two hundred thousand U.S. dollars per year. And actually, only one percent of all online users are able to do this. Well, what does that mean? That means if you use our website, you becomes even more、um, wealthy, all right? Or the average height about the national average is some number. But if you are using our website, you are higher than that average by one inch, no matter you are man or woman. Cool. So you become taller. Regarding average weight, for men, they are around the national average. But if you are a woman and if you are on our website, roughly you are nine kilograms as low as、uh, nine kilograms lower than the average. That's awesome. Everybody likes our websites, right? And seventy-two percent of women, they are above average look. And that's only for for men. That's also sixty-eight percent. So most of the people on our website, they look very nice. They look very good. All right, twenty-eight percent of women they have blondy hair. But we also know that in the United States, not so many women indeed have blondy hair. But if you like it, I'm going to say I have a blondy hair. Okay, seven percent of men they are married. Though that seems to be honest. But among those people, only less than five percent they want to post their photos. Okay, so maybe that does not create a an an evidence showing that on this website people are lying. But seems to us that this is too good to be true, right? If this is really true, then I'm going to join this website because I'm become taller. I'm going to become wealthier. Um. Pretty much, that's impossible. All right. There's also another information from Taiwan. So there was once I talked to a, a person from Sweet Ring. So that person、uh, revealed one information regarding the data, and of course, that somehow seems to be、uh, reasonable. So let's take a look at this data. It says that there are not so many male users. They are within 175 cm and 180 centimeters. So what does that mean? Well, suppose you look at the height of a typical uh gentleman in Taiwan. Then for most of us, we are around 100 or 155, 55, 107, 60, 165, and 170, 175, 180, 185, and so on and so on. So most of us are probably、uh, having height in this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Okay. So this is a distribution, or this is the percentage of people. Having the height in this way, pretty much it should look like a normal distribution, right? Most people are at normal height. Some people are really high. Some people are not so high. But most of the people, they should make a normal distribution. It's interesting that they say, "Oh no, 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 no." According to our profile, this particular region here, we don't know why, but not so many people. In this particular region, are using our websites. Well, if that's the case, then there are two possible possible reasons. So first, 
if you are a boy, a Taiwanese boy, and if you are within this particular height region, you are so popular. All girls love you, so you don't need to use a dating website. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm 184, I'm too tall, so I still need one. Okay, so that's one possibility. Or another possibility, according to them, is that, well, they guess. If you are taller than 180, you will say you are taller than 180. If you are shorter than 175, you have no way. You just need to admit that you are not so tall. But if you are within these two numbers, why don't you just say you are 180? Okay, so that may explain why not so many people in on this website is within this height range. Well, that's interesting. Again, that's not a proof, but still, we do have some belief. We do are somewhat convinced that maybe people are lying on a web dating website, right? So that may be some interesting facts. Okay, so there are hidden information on dating websites. Let's assume there are hidden information on dating websites. Then there can be all kinds of information asymmetry. Somewhat similar to C2C marketplace, somewhat uh, similar to job hunting websites. So if that's the case, then maybe we need to think about their solutions. Review systems, refund guarantee, third-party payments, certificate awards, and so on and so on. If you really want to join, and if you really want to own a dating website, you really need to take this information, take this con into consideration. Otherwise, people on your website, they are not going to trade with each other. They are not going to make friends with each other. All right? That's not good. Okay, so let's take a look at these solutions. If we want to understand whether these solutions is going to work or not, we need to look at the features of online dating. So for online dating, there are at least three unique features. So first, um, those guys on the websites, they are experienced goods. What do they mean? That means you need to experience that before you know whether it's good or bad. For some products, that's not true. For example, if we talk about iPhone, uh, probably you don't like iPhone, but even if you don't like iPhone, I guess you would agree, iPhone seems to be a good product, right? So most of the people in the world, they would agree that iPhone seems to be good. If, it's, if, if I need to have an iPhone, I feel that's okay. So in that case, those technology products, especially those made by a big brand, they are not like experienced goods. But if you are talking about good uh, books, movies, or especially friends, then they are indeed experienced good. Because if everybody like this friend, let this guy and make friends with him, no one says I'm going to be a good friend from him. All right? So that's possible. That's possible. You really need to spend some time to know whether he or she is your good candidate. Also, this is infrequent transaction. What does that mean? You are not going to be like go to 7-Eleven or Family Mart. You are not going to do that once or twice per day. Typically, because that takes time, so you cannot have too many transactions, typically. So if you go to a C2C marketplace and say that there are 1,280 uh, likes or there are so many ratings, that seems to be good. But if you go to an online dating website, seeing some guy having thousands of likes, thousands of ratings with five stars, mm, that's weird, right? You don't know what happened to this guy. So that's also not going to be so useful. Lastly, there are so many people, they need to pay high search cost to make sure that this is really something they want, okay? High search cost, including you need to search and you need to talk with each other and you need to go for dating for once or twice. That really takes time. Okay, so let's take a look at how these features may have some impact on our solutions. So a user's personal characteristics are hidden, right? We don't know whether he or she is really rich, whether he or she is really good looking. We need to spend some time to figure it out, all right? So whenever someone goes to a dating website, do we believe that he or she is good or bad in that? 
in some sense, we typically believe that he or she is not very good. In some sense, right? Because if he or she is really so good, what's the point for him or she to go onto the online dating websites? If that belief exists, those people who are not so good, they will really exist, and those people that are really good will disappear. High quality, medium quality, low quality. If everybody believes that there is no high quality person, high quality person will just leave. All right. So again, that's the same story. Also, when people's search cost is also hidden, so you don't know whether this person has high search cost or low search cost. Here, high search cost may means the opportunity cost of time. If there is a person who is very busy, who must spend a lot of time、um, helping his company,、uh, studying in a GMBA degree. And also do this and do that, and spend a lot of time、uh, staying with his parents. Then he would have high search cost. He does not have time to spend a lot on a online dating website. Makes sense. So if you see one guy on an online dating website, do you think he is busy, or do you think he is just has nothing to do? Okay. In either way, that corresponds to different search cost. A busy person typically have high search cost. Those guys who have nothing to do, they are not so busy. Their search cost is low. If you see one guy keeping track, chat,、uh, chatting with you, you tend to believe that he has nothing to do. He is not so busy, right? So this is creating another problem. It happens that there is a website, there is a boy or there is a girl who really likes you. So they spend a lot of time talking with you. But while they may be really like you, it's possible that you just think, "Oh, this guy is useless. This guy has nothing to do. This guy does not study. This guy does not help his company." All right. So those are all adverse selection problems on an online dating website. If we do not find some way to deal with that, we're going to make those high quality persons leave our websites. Okay, if people all believe in this way, that thing will happen, and that's terrible for our website owners. All right, and we also mentioned to you that, for example, you cannot just do some refund guarantee. That's weird, right? You cannot say that. Let's rate each other. That's also weird. So somehow we need to find some way to deal with this information asymmetry, so that we may. Create a successful website. Create values. Earn some money. Okay. Let's see what we may do.